This video will walk you through the electrical output testing process for your Champion 2800 to 9500 watt generator. Make sure your unit is outdoors in a well-ventilated area. First, remove the yellow round end cover on the side of your unit with the appropriate hardware. At the top, you'll see a red positive wire and a white negative wire connected to the brush assembly. Disconnect the white wire first. Once it's disconnected, start the engine and touch the wire against the terminal. This should produce a spark. If a spark does appear, reconnect the white wire to its terminal and there should be power to the outlets and meter. If there is power, you can reassemble the unit. If there is no spark, remove the brush assembly with the appropriate socket and examine the carbon brushes for damage and uneven or excessive wear. The brushes should be between 3 8 and 3 16 and relatively equal in length. If the brushes are damaged or worn majorly, they will need to be replaced. If the brushes appear to be in good condition, leave the brush assembly removed and continue to the next test. Turn off the generator, and with the brush assembly removed, use a multimeter and set the tester to the ohms scale. Locate the two copper rings behind the brush assembly, and touch one probe to each copper ring. This should produce a reading between 45 and 75 ohms. If the reading is not between 45 and 75 ohms, examine the soldering of the rotor wiring to the slip rings. Slowly pull the recoil to examine each solder point, and make sure they are solid and completely connected. If the ohms reading is less than 45, it means that the rotor is failing and will need to be replaced. If the ohms reading is within the appropriate range, continue to the next test. Put the brush assembly back in place and secure with the correct hardware. First, turn the engine on and check the red wire and white wire on the brush assembly and make sure they're secure and snug. Using a multimeter, set the scale to DC volts and place the probes on the red and white wire terminals. The voltage reading should be a minimum of 15 volts DC. If your reading is below 15 volts, continue to the exciter field test before replacing the voltage regulator. With the engine running, locate the white wire connector with four wires between the stator and the AVR and disconnect it. Of the four wires, find the two matching colored wires. They may be yellow or blue depending on the wattage of your unit. Set the scale to AC voltage on your multimeter and use the probes to touch the two terminals that align with these two wires. The meter should read between four and eight volts AC. If this is the case, the AVR will need to be replaced. If the reading does not fall between four and eight volts, the stator will most likely need to be replaced. Examine the stator for cracked and broken magnets before ordering a replacement. For more information on the electrical output testing procedure or other detailed technical bulletins, visit the Champion Help Center at help.championpowerequipment.com.